I was uh, privileged to be invited uh, to become a trainer. Um, uh, some people then in DC uh, professional looked at me and said uh, that I had a, an interesting mix of skills, uh, having done a lot of different roles in in the industry for uh, some years. And uh, um, they felt that I could make a good instructor, and I'm glad they did because I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I think it's important that um, trainers have worked in the industry they're, they're training in, especially for this kind of vocational training, um, because this, the, you, you learn over time, uh, firstly to get on with people, and it's, it's very um, important that you build up a relationship with uh, the trainees uh, over the course of the two or three days that we're normally together. Um, and also that you've got practical experience of, of the kind of issues that, that they will be encountering uh, because what we're trying to do is not necessarily give them solutions to every problem but, but to know how to investigate and how to uh, apply um, different tactics to those solutions. Uh, I can remember one occasion where we looked at somebody's design for a cooling system and uh, we made a few um, uh, adaptions to that, uh, suggested some changes and I think it, it could save about um, a third of a million pounds over, over 10 years. As, as I said we, we sort of bring practical solutions, uh, myself and the other trainers have all been in, in the industry, I think that's what marks out DC Professional has been a little bit different perhaps than some of the other organisations where we're all practical people uh, we all um, have done real things in real data centres um, and we can then, um, it's, it's kind of knowing what we're talking about, we're not just reading off a, a crib sheet, yeah. uh, we have a sort of deep understanding of, uh, of the sort of issues that people are going to be encountering. I think one of the things with the, the, that I've noticed in the data centre industry that, that, that differs perhaps from, from other industries is that it's not parochial at all. Um, the, the, the different people in different countries uh, have the same issues. Um, it's very international. And if, if we're to uh, you know, um, develop this industry and achieve the, the efficiencies that we need to achieve uh, and, and the resilience and the capacity, um, it's really important that we learn from each other worldwide, not just in the UK, not just in uh, the Far East. We, we all learn from each other, we all pool our, our knowledge and that way we can really make a difference. Um, it's quite difficult sometimes to step back and look strategically, you know, you tend to be involved very much in your day job. Um, you, you will uh, apply um, the solutions that are uh, kind of given to you and, and perhaps you know about um, and that's, that's all the value, you know, experience is, is a great value but stepping back from that and um, being uh, shown, you know, what the, um, uh, the concepts are of these cooling systems and power systems and all the other things that go into data centres, understanding those concepts uh, means that you can um, perhaps look beyond the, the, the immediate um, uh, issues that you're dealing with and, uh, and apply some more strategic, I'm sorry I keep using this word strategic, but um, uh, yeah, apply you know, these different solutions or at least look at them. You know, there might be something out there that you don't know about that could be of great value. Yeah. Um, I think the value of external training um, is again that you know you, we, we can bring in different ideas um, that there's a, a course that I did for a very um, uh, very famous um, internet uh, company uh, just a, a few weeks ago and uh, you know I think it's fair to say that when we, when we started the, first, the three days of the cooling professional course they probably thought that uh, uh, they knew everything was out there and, and I was able to bring them actually some new ideas and show them uh, how to achieve efficiencies that they, they, they were unaware of. So I think we can bring, um, yeah, you know, the, this sort of worldwide knowledge base. Um, you know, myself and the other trainers do talk together, you know, we, we swap ideas between us um, and try and bring those into the courses. Um, and I think that's, that's really the value. It's, it's looking at things that may not be in your immediate area of experience, 
uh, bringing these other ideas and these other concepts in from, as I say, around the world.